The design agency I was working with um, got the hold of this copy, or was given a copy of the uh, Definitely Maybe cassette, right. and I listened to that, and Noel had seen my photographs on, on some of the Verve covers, and uh, so he wanted me to do the photography. So I was given this cassette, uh, which was you know, the demo to Definitely Maybe, and, uh, and that was my first introduction to Oasis, really. And then I... <clears throat> Arranged a meeting with uh, oh that's I uh, um, had a meeting with them at, out of the Blue Studios in Manchester right, yeah. and I can remember driving down there and it was just kind of another band that I was going to photograph and um, on the way to the studio that someone had got a hold of a local radio station got a hold of, of a demo copy of Columbia right so that came on the radio I'm thinking and it was so I thought wow this sounds yeah. amazing. Yeah. Who's this band by? Yeah. You know, who, who's it by this track? So I can remember sort of pulling, I don't know if I pulled over something or just listen out to what it was. And it's like, you know, that's by this a local band called Oasis. And it's like, whoa, that's the band I'm photographing. Yeah. And that kind of changed. You drove that. a bit quicker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That really kind of changed my yeah. whole approach to it. Because yeah. uh, that was before I heard the Definitely Maybe met her demo. That's the first time I'd ever heard Oasis was on the on the local radio listening to Columbia, and I thought, wow, man, that is because it's still my favourite Oasis track right. to this day. Uh, so when I arrived there, I thought, yeah, this is, you know, this is you know this band is something special. So I was properly all sharpened up by the time we yeah. got there. And how did you? All find the lenses that? were all polished. Yeah. <laughs> you know, was, my tie was all straight yeah. and all that. And so, so, yeah, went down there and it was, uh, they were doing the demo version of Shaker Maker. And um, I can just remember, I was, I was in the studio and then it, uh, they were doing the playback or something and uh, they were, it was like the Coca-Cola song, you know, I want to buy the world a Coke. Yeah. I'm thinking, what is that? You know, yeah. putting... Uh, and I was kind of like taken aback and thought, yeah, that is really cool, that. Any band that can just think, right, you know what? You're taking the bit from that advert and you're sticking it in the middle of a song. And, and that kind of sold it for me. It was like, whoa, that is, you know, that was the first time when I suddenly realised, you know, these guys just don't give a shit. And that's what you need, you know, artistically. You need that kind of open mind when you come to sort of creating stuff like that. And of and course you created... So I was impressed by that. Yeah, and you, you created a iconic sleeve with melting down some of the various props, didn't you? I did, yeah, yeah. So, and that was done in my um, apartment in uh, Clyde Road, and that's because I lived at one point. Liam lived for for a short time about six doors down on Clyde Road with his then girlfriend, and then Bonehead lived in Stratford Avenue, where that picture was taken. So, the, and Carolina Hearn lived in the area. Right. And um, and Johnny dangerously, you know, from my own clue. So it was West Israel. It was, it was it was it was good. You know, it's quite a kind of bubbling artistic little place to live. But um, but yeah, no, the shaker maker thing. Yeah, that was done in my um, I had this kind of studio um, set up in my apartment, and I just uh, painted the corner of the room green. And I can remember when. <laughs> The landlord freaked out because when I moved out, <laughs> there was just this bit of green still left in the room <laughs> from the shaker makers uh, shoot. But uh, yeah, that was that was a fun shoot. You know, got all this stuff from antique shops and got the big blowtorch and melted it down. Yeah. And there's uh, I can remember there's these people on the other side of the road. <laughs> yeah. You know, so this the massive way. like a World War Two flamethrower <laughs> could take out. You know, <laughs> when they've seen the old, you know, in Okinawa or somewhere like that, like. <laughs> what was the idea for that? I was melting. For this melting then. Melting all these bizarre objects yeah. like radios and phones keyboards, and wasn't <laughs> keyboards, it? Yeah. and there's this guy, like you know, looking out of his window, <laughs> thinking, "What is he doing?" <laughs> what was the idea for that? For the 
melting down? Uh, well, the, Anything the, well, specific? Yeah, I mean, the, the concept was uh, the fact that you put music, Oasis song on your system, yeah. turn the volume up, and then suddenly everything in the room would be like microwaved or melted. You know, that, you know, the, you know those uh, weapons that the CIA have got, you know, sonic, all these new sonic weapons they're developing that you'd turn them on immediately and everyone would, but, you know, that kind of idea. Yeah, it's a great sleeve. 